In 2023, Callaway nailed the driver market with Paradigm. But can they do it this year with Paradigm AI Smoke? This is Callaway's offering for 2024, and this is my honest review of their brand new product. So this year, Callaway have three models in their range. They have the Max, they have the Triple Diamond, and the Max D driver. Now, one thing you'll notice in this range that the only adjustable back-weighted driver is the Max. So this offers you a chance to make it a little bit more fade, to draw bias with this back weight. So the max comes in lofts between nine and 12 degrees and is roughly around a 460 cc head. The Max D, which is Callaway's, I guess, more forgiving model, comes in the exact same loft and cc as the Max driver. However, this is Callaway's more draw bias offering. Now, the Triple Diamond, the Marmite Club. This is definitely a lower handicap style club, a slightly smaller CC than the previous two, and comes in lofts from eight all the way to 10 and a half. Now, Callaway are claiming that this, the face, in every single one of the models this year, is the most advanced face they have ever created ever, period. Now, we're just gonna talk through the differences between all the models. This is the Triple Diamond model, and you're going to see as we go through the tech, the faces slightly change between each model. But visually, this driver, which I'm actually very excited to test really, this has been a Marmite Club in previous years, is a more compact style driver. As we go over to the other end of the spectrum, to the Max D, this is the size which is slightly more elongated and pushed back, or definitely visually appears to be that way. And finally, the middle one in the range, the Max, this is the one that I would say literally sits as a halfway house between them. Now I wanna talk about color. What do we think? I'm gonna say right now, I love it. Paradigm last year was okay, that sort of deep blue, but this for me, Color-wise, is an absolute upgrade. I love the sort of camo carbon detailing on the back of each and every one of these drivers. The blue with the white outlining definitely pops. And where they've got these little subtle bits of blue is very, very nice underneath. So shelf appeal, perfect. And I'm going to talk about now what we sort of look from the top line. What I love is, if you look at the previous years and just brands in general, most brands have been going for sort of a, a carbon-y sort of matte look. I like this glossy look on each and every one of these models. The carbon gloss with the matte line at the front definitely gives it that premium feel. I'm liking it so far. Now let's talk about the name. What do we think of the name? AI Smoke and it's Paradigm AI Smoke. I like the fact that we're going down the same name in terms of the Paradigm family. I wasn't expecting AI Smoke, but I can get on board with that. Let me know what you think of this name. Did you expect it to be or look like this? In a nutshell right now, we're looking at a new and improved Paradigm, or that's what they're saying, with the most advanced face ever. Now, head cover. <laughs> I'm laughing because head cover in recent years has become a little bit of a, a game, hasn't it? Who can produce the nicest, most exclusive, post, I don't know, um, best head cover on the market? Now, let me know what you think on this, but I definitely think this is a downgrade from last year's. The Paradigm one last year definitely had that sort of Japanese, very expensive, exclusive feel to it, with that stripe that ran down the middle. I feel this has just fallen in line with previous models and not as good for me. Now I know it sort of picks out all the elements of the driver with the carbon, the blue, the white, the lines. It is clean, it is nice, but not as good as last year's. Now, as I say, I feel like Callaway this year have gone down a similar or very similar route than they had last year. It feels like the same driver in some ways. But the proof will be in the pudding. Now, when we do get to test this down at Scottsdale, I want you to look for these numbers. What are good numbers for me is around about a 275 carry, 
155 to 160 ball speed and around two to two and a half thousand spin. That is what I would expect with these numbers. So the story this year, we are looking at a driver that is a carbon driver that has got every single element of last year's paradigm with a difference. And I actually like how they've gone about this. If you think, right, and the whole idea of a driver is to perform for the best players in the world, but each model has been tuned in terms of this AI face, and all the faces have been created by putting information swings into a supercomputer to dial in a face for a club golfer, for an average golfer, for a golfer they think will use each and every one of these heads. So all the pieces from last year which we saw, it has a 360 carbon chassis which promotes unprecedented weight distribution and maximum distance. We've got the jailbreak technology, which I think is a real cool aspect. But what is new, I hear you ask? What is new? Well, I said it was this smart face. Now, Callaway are claiming the AI smart face is the most sophisticated face they have ever made. The AI smart face is designed using swing dynamics from different segments of real golfers, creating multiple sweet spots across the entire club face. Now, each driver, each model, each loft has had 250,000 swings inputted, just over 1 million data points, 80,000 lines of custom code, 50,000 face iterations per head, per loft, as I say, to come up with this club face. And what I like about this is that the story is around real golfers. Real golfers. And that's what, for me, I'll be looking at when I test this. How will it perform on my off-center hits? And I'm not even just gonna do that for what we're classing as the more forgiving models in the range. I'm gonna even do that with what is the daddy. The triple diamond. The one that's meant to be low spinning, low launch, go forever driver. Now this is all dependent on what is suited to your game, but I'm gonna test that aspect in every single driver. Now what is really cool about this, the AI smart face changes slightly as you go from the max to the max D all the way to the triple diamond. And it has slight different micro deflections. You can see here on the screen what we would see behind the face of the max. Now this is the driver that has the broadest and this is where you can see the impact uses most of the face. Now as we go all the way to a max D, you can see how the detailing on the back of the face and the micro deflection slightly change to be more impact low heel to high toe, really helping those slower swing players. And then the most noticeable difference here is into the triple diamond. And you can see how that is really concentrated now around that center. Slightly different deflections, all to create the best face for that head and that particular shot pattern. So the question is, is this the most sophisticated face ever? Now, one thing that I want to keep repeating here is I like the fact that they've taken real data from real golfers and put it into their AI supercomputer to help generate a face specific for each model. I think if you look at this and go, they've not just created a small one, there's a face, bigger one, there's a face, a draw bias, there's a face. It's a face specific to each and every model. But proof will be in the pudding. It's now time to put this to the test. This is my favorite part of the video. We're gonna put Callaway's claims to the test. We're gonna test every single model, see how it performs. What does it look like? What does it sound like? And the big thing is here, right? Should you buy it in 2024? Is this the number one driver? Now, first thing, I have the Max driver. So this is what Callaway claim is sort of their middle product in their range. And every year, every brand does the same thing. Now, placing this down behind the ball, it has such good appeal. I'm gonna say right now, when you first place this down, what sticks out is the glossy carbon fiber top to this club. And then sort of the matte brushed effect here where you've got the sight line to signify the middle of the club. Now, one thing that I actually really like about this, and I didn't think I would, 
was the fact that you can see a little bit of this white area of the face. I actually really like that. Now that will depend on what loft you have in your driver, but straight away, this Max model is absolutely stunning behind the ball. And bizarrely, it doesn't look overly big. It looks compact, but it looks very, very inviting. Okay, I'm really excited about this. Five away, I have warmed up. And what I'm gonna do is just to make this test as fair as possible for me, Obviously, it will depend what driver you get fitted for and what driver suits you, but I'm gonna put the same shaft in every single one. Okay, right, first ball away, I'm buzzing for this. Absolutely buzzing. <laughs> A little healy, I'm not gonna lie, but all said and done for the first one, that was it pretty good. So 270 yards, a little bit of a healy shot. So ball speed, 155. Spin around 3-4. I was a little about the heels, that's what I'd expect. Carry 254. This 270 finish, not a bad start. Let's see what we can get this up to. Now, as we said, the AI smart face changes with each model. Now, with this being the max, this is the one with sort of the broadest hitting area across the center of the face, right? Four more to go. I have got to talk about this. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't hit each and every one of them great. And especially that last one, it wasn't a great hit. But look at the numbers here. Spins come down a little bit, around 3,000. 156 miles an hour ball speed, not my best, but certainly not slow. But look at these numbers down here. 262, 280 on, I'm gonna say like a five, six out of 10 hit. That has to be a good thing. That shows that this is pretty forgiving. Now that gives me confidence in this model. Now, what does it also sound like? Because sound plays a big part when you're buying a driver. This one, I would say, sounds quite high pitched, sounds quite lively, but I think this will change as we go through the range. Right, two more for this one. Let's go. Can I just say, look how consistent these are. I, I'm going to be honest, like I say, I'm not hitting it the best, but look at that for a grouping. Last ball. Final one. Let's hit this. I just think it feels so solid. I can't, I said this in the start of this video. I love the look of this bottom piece. So good. That was got to be the best route. That is the best one I have hit. The best, by a long way. Let's see where this goes. Oh, that showed. That has seriously showed. Look at that. 277 carry, 297 total distance. Spin came down to exactly where I'd want it. Ball speed up to nearly 160. We're getting there. This gives me confidence in this. Remember, this whole idea is that this face has been engineered with thousands and thousands of shots from real golfers. And if real golfers are hitting this, you want something that's forgiving and performs on good shots, but most importantly, on your bad shots. So overall, let's go through the averages for the Max model. I am really impressed with this model, but I do have some questions about that triple diamond, because in the past, that has been like a really unforgiving club. So it'll be interesting to see if they've improved that. But averages here, 156 ball speed. We had an average spin of around 3,000. We had a total average of around 281, not bad. Remember, I'm not hitting this great. The last shot was my best, which is this one above. And then overall, this is a club which is filling me with confidence right now. Okay, next one, we're going to go for the Max D. Okay, so this is what Callaway have and claim is their more draw bias, more sort of forgiving shot that will stop you losing as many balls to the right. Next up, we're testing the AI Smoke Max D. And the impact is from low heel to high toe. And this is referring to that AI Smart Face. Now, when you place this one down compared to the Max, which we just tested, the profile is a lot bigger. The back edge looks a little bit more elongated, and you tend to see that 
with more forgiving drivers. The nice thing is we see the same patterns with the gloss carbon to this matte finish, but overall when you place this one down, you can visually see it is a lot bigger. Even though it's not, it's still a 460cc head, exactly the same as the Max, but the way it is shaped is a lot different. Now, I'm intrigued about this because this is supposedly fair, I'm gonna say, not the most forgiving, but for slower swing speed players, players who struggle with losing the ball off to the right. Something that I'm actually, well, capable of a lot with myself. So even though this model wouldn't be something I've gone for in the past, how does it perform this year? I am excited to try this one. Not a model I've gone for in the past, but let's see what it does. Oh, that was so good. Gone a little left though, little left. Tell you what, I tell you what, straight off the gun, ball speed was up there with nearly one of my highest with the max. Spin was down at 2.4. Carry 271, total 291. Like I think you've got to forget, right? In the past, I think maybe golfers have been sort of penned into each one and each model within a brand. Just see which one performs best for you, right? We've got four more. I want to say, right, I can't believe how much bigger this looks down behind the ball. It looks really good, really good. Now, there's a common pattern happening here. Even though the numbers are pretty good, for me, it's all just going very, very left. 260 carry, 286 yards, 159 ball speed, very low spin for me. Interesting, this model, even though it looks good, like I said before, maybe, maybe, I've, uh, let's hit a couple more just to see. Okay, so you'll notice on every, oh, majority of those shots there, look at my dispersion, all down the left side. Now it's important to note, essentially that's what this driver is designed to do. Help you if you're a lower swing player, person who leaves that face open, has that big slice, that's what it's meant to do. But for me, just not quite right. But I would say this, it looks very good behind the ball and it's not something you go, oh my God, that face is really offset, or there is a lot of draw bias on that. But it does what it says on the tin. Right, it's now time for the triple diamond. Now in the past, this driver has been a little bit of a Marmite club. So let's see what it's like in 2024. Final model in this range, the AI Smoke Triple Diamonds. Now the smart face is all concentrated around the middle. This driver is made for high swing speed players, players who create a lot of spin. And the past has been, I'm gonna say right now, the most unforgiving model. Now I'm intrigued to see how it performs this year. Now visually, as you place this down, because it is a slightly smaller CC and it is a little bit more compact, it's almost like it's been shrunk in slightly, it does look like that down behind the ball. Now one thing I do not like with this one compared to the Max and the Max D. I get it, right? They've taken off the sight line to make it look a little bit more better player, a little bit more cleaner, but I don't like that. I think it would be a good addition keeping that little sight line on there. Right, it's now time to hit these away. I was ripped. Right, let's pick a few things out on here. 160, 24, 276 carry, 299 total. Now, one thing I would actually say, first thing, is this driver is launching a lot lower. 11 degrees compared to a sort of like 12 and a half on the other models. Let's see how it goes. There's two away. First thing I would say, like, when you put it down, like I mentioned a few things, the sight line, the compact look, but this deep face, I really like the look of, and the sound 
it sounds a little duller, is what I would say is the easiest way of describing that. Now, in terms of those two shots, they have surprised me. First one, I didn't feel like I hit well at all. Second one, I hit really nice. It feels a lot more forgiving than previous years. That's not good, but still gone pretty good. Now, interestingly, a few bad swings in there. My dispersion was definitely bigger with this one. One thing I did like was the fact that it did launch a little bit lower with an average launch of around sort of 10.7 degrees. 158.7 ball speed, all the way on this side, 292 total. Now, this is a driver that I think if I was swinging a little bit better would actually really suit me, which I'll be honest, I'm surprised that because, as I say, this has been a Marmite club in previous years. Now, after testing, we're gonna go through the results. What driver is best for my game? But it is important to know what shaft options are available in these models. Now, if you do go and get fitted at a studio, for example, at Scottsdale, you can choose aftermarket shaft options, but Callaway are offering these. The Mitsubishi Eldelio, Mitsubishi Tensai Silver, Project X, Mitsubishi Tensai AV Series Blue, and Project X Denali Black. So plenty of shaft options for you to go at, but going somewhere like Scottsdale, you can get the exact shaft for your game. Now, let's go through these results and see which driver was best for me. Now, Looking at this table, you can see on the left-hand side that we have the overall ball flight. Now, the yellow line represents the triple diamond, so the lower spinning driver. The red line represents the AI Smoke Max D, so the slightly more draw bias driver. And the higher blue line, turquoise line, is the AI Smoke Max. Now, you can see a distinct difference between the Max all the way to the triple diamond. Now. I would say that the lower launching driver is something that I guess I am not used to. I'm used to something that launches a little bit higher, but looking at these overall results, if we're looking at the table here, we can see the fastest ball speed was the AI Smoke Triple Diamond for me, with a, with a ball speed of 158.7, a launch angle of 10.7, a spin at around about 2,000, and a carry of 267, and a finishing total of 292. Now, it is important to note there's only roughly around 10 yards with each, and I didn't dial these in for my perfect spec. So, just judging on this as an overall club, what would be best for me? I'll be honest, I would be leaning more towards the AI Smoke Max, just purely because I prefer a little bit of a higher ball flight, and that had the tightest dispersion. But, I do feel this, as a higher swing speed player, the LS model did really surprise me. It did. It felt good, it sounded compact, and I think after a few tweaks, that one actually could be the driver for me this year. So what do we think of Callaway's offering this year? The Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. What's our overall opinion? Do we like it, do we hate it? I think it is, I'm gonna say this right now, upgrade on 2023. Simply this, the colorway, the technology in the face, and the whole story behind this driver being suited more for everyday golfers. And that's what's gone into producing the technology. This for me is a very, very strong product of 2024. And will this be the driver to be? I love the look, I love the colorway. It's a great story. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this review here on How Good Golf, don't forget to subscribe. This is your only place for honest and unbiased reviews here on YouTube with all the latest tech. And within the next week, we have big drops from the likes of Cobra, tailor-made in this too. Look forward to seeing you on those videos.